Thank you for joining us. My name is Mujraman. Let's get started. Last week, Pilgrim High School students left campus for the day and attended a Shakespearean at the Alex Theater in Glendale, California. Based on several traditional plays, the production included a modern day twist on Shakespeare's classics. Let's have a look. That was one of the best Shakespeareans I've ever had in my life. It was entertaining. How so? Uh, it was funny, different. I thought it was um, pretty good. It kept people's attention with the comedy. I enjoyed it. And a special thanks to Mr. Hurley and the rest of the English department for organizing that special event. And the secondary school canned food drive is over. According to the ASB and the MSSC, the middle school has taken the prize as the highest donating student body of the school. Consequently, they have won a day of free dress and, of course, the satisfaction of their donation. And remember, Pilgrim Valentine's Day winter formal is on February 7th, followed by the middle school dance on February 21st. Now, we go to a special Pilgrim School News Network report featuring the Pilgrim School's Visiting Artist series. I've always been interested in art, but I'm not a two-dimensional artist. I can't draw. I work with puppets. I love working with puppets. father came to San Francisco in 1928 and he worked with a man named called Blanding Sloan and my father because he was so short he was five foot two 100 pounds he knew he was never going to play Hamlet so uh, his partner challenged him to put on a puppet play of Hamlet and that way he would able to he would be able to play Hamlet my uh, educational life as a teacher has been has been devoted to showing kids how to do things and how to to make and and not just look at life but to make life to grow into it and to to be a part of it by being a, a, a participant rather than an observer That was the Pilgrim School's Visiting Artist Series. Next, we go to Sports Desk with Lewis Armstead. Thanks, Moosh. I'm Lewis, and this is the Sports Desk. The girls' varsity basketball won one out of their two games last week. They also have a game tomorrow, so we wish them good luck. As for boys' varsity basketball, they've won their most recent game against Summit View. And for a little insight, here's one of their members, Cameron Nelson, with updates. Um, our season has been going really well. The team has finally found their structure, and we have been actually on a winning streak for most of our league games, so I think that's pretty good. I think one goal for the team this year would be to have more synchronization and learn more about each other because, I mean, we all have individual skills, but if we learn to work together, it would be a much better team. The varsity soccer team won one of their two games last week, and they won their game yesterday, and they have high hopes for the rest of the season. As for middle school basketball, the girls unfortunately lost their, game, their first game of the season, but look forward to succeeding in the games to come. The boys have won the two of their most recent games, and we have a short clip for your enjoyment. Well, that's it for this one. I'm Lewis, and I'll see you guys next time. This month is STEMX month at Pilgrim School, 
And in keeping with the tradition, we take an inside look into Pilgrim School's robotics program. The robotics program is all about applying our skills in engineering, mathematics, and science to a goal in this competition. In the next matches that we have to do, and the previous ones that we have done for this year, our robotics team needs to build a robot that can collect these blocks for scores. The process of building a robot starts with the kickoff, where we're given our tasks. After that, we're set free with some set materials, usually with different kits. And then with that, we have to build a robot that's going to carry out these tasks. From that, we go on to our competitions, learn from our mistakes, and be prepared for the next competition with improvements in our machine. People should join robotics if they're interested in engineering, arts, computers, or just having a good time with these competitions. Join robotics is a whole lot of fun. That was Pilgrim School Robotics. Now we go to a special Inside the Classroom with Lulu Syracuse. Three. Please. Here. Keep going. In groups of two, we each build a Rube Goldberg machine. Using at least 10 steps, we had to ring a bell. It was very difficult because each step had to line up perfectly with the next step. To get graded on this project, we had three chances for the machine to run through at least once perfectly. To get the full 100%, you had to have 10 successful steps. If you didn't get the project to work after three times, you lost 10% of your grade. This project was very stressful because we had to make precise calculations and repeatedly test each step countless times. We were in the fab lab the whole time. It got very sweaty in there after having so many 8th graders and giant machines packed together in one lab. What was the key to this? Testing repeatedly. It was an awesome scientific experiment. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That's it for the ships in, and we'll see you next time.